boys and girls, sports fans, other assorted waifs and strays, Dan here, JDOD, and I'm with Narendra Singh, Singh of Aperio. And you're the premier, what do you do? What does your company do? Come on. Aperio is a cloud solutions provider. We help the largest and fastest growing companies in the world take advantage of the cloud and turn their companies into cloud powered businesses. Um, a year and a half ago, you um, kicked off this cloud spokes developer um, community. And I see that this week you're just passing the 50,000 threshold. You've got 400 challenges done. You've had 2,500 submissions. You've um, awarded, what is it, over $600,000 one way or the other. Why do people come to Cloud Spokes as opposed to other communities? What, what, what is it that makes that attractive? So let me first start with Cloud Spokes is a crowdsourcing community right. that has developer challenges. Okay. So developers compete and they can win, right? right? And so if they win, they get money, which is great. And even if they don't win, they get to see the code of the people that did win so they can improve their skills. Right. And that hits two of the core reasons. Right? It's a way of financially rewarding them for their skills that's not trying to say uh, how much our effort, it's just based upon how, how well can you achieve the goal, mm -hmm. which is really key because too often we're hidden behind is it the right person, is it the right skills, now it's simply about the output of what's created. So it's inherently fair because right. the best submission wins, not the person that might have been the best or the second best for the job. So the opportunity to fairly be rewarded for their work is one key point. Mm -hmm. The second is that element of even when they're not winning, it's a way for them to really hone their practical skills. We have a lot of people who are Java developers, .NET developers, who really want to take their career to the next stage, mm -hmm. and they look at this as a very pragmatic way of, warn of, of learning. And there's one example of a, uh, an administrator of Salesforce had a developer, and he basically encouraged his developer to go compete on Cloud Spokes because he wanted a developer not to leave his company. It gave really? him a way of having cutting edge skills and maintaining right. those. And then, of course, he got the benefit of getting a more skilled and trained person bringing all this new innovation back into his own company. So he was encouraging his own employee to compete on Cloud Spokes. How does it help a, a, a period, though? Because, um, yeah. you know, go on. I, sure. So, I mean, the big piece for us is that we like the idea of. If we are, SaaS solutions are great because they get better every quarter, right? right? Each quarter they get better. Why aren't services that way? Why is it that it never seems to get better? It's always just expensive. And we, we said, we started the company with that objective. And if we're constantly trying to disrupt our own model, then no one else can do it for us. Right. And so a big part of it is to use it to constantly improve the rate of services. The other part is that our goal as a company is to do to Accenture and Deloitte what Salesforce did to Siebel, what Workday is doing to PeopleSoft. And the only way to do that is at scale is by having volume. So for us, it gives us an incredible workforce of the best people on the planet who can help us tackle an each size challenge. That's one big thing. The second part is it leads to our company thinking about components. Mm. Components lead to reuse. It leads to a situation that's better for customers because they get to <coughs> they get to jump they get to jump past building it again. They actually get the asset and it's better for us because anytime we can reuse a technical component or asset, it's a more profitable piece for us. So, so we drop the price for customers right. and we increase the profits for us. So for for customers who are used to sort of you know, I'm going to have an X, Y, Z implementation and the SI comes along and says, oh yeah, you're unique. Mm -hmm. you're, you're slowly but surely breaking down that particular yeah. wall. We, say, we ask the question, what makes you unique? Right. Because it's not everything in that implementation. Right. And let's focus on the work with you hands on in what's unique and use the community, use reusable components to really diminish the time we're spending on what's not unique. And you know what SaaS taught us is what's not unique is the hardware and software you run to, to use. Right. That's right. what led to cloud. Right, right, we're trying right. to do the same thing to services now. Right. Boys and girls, Narinda, Aperio, pretty good model. Thanks for your time, mate. Thanks a lot, Dennis.